welcome to my channel if you are new. Welcome back if you are a returning sub. I am so happy that you're all here. I have another Dollar Tree haul to share with you. This is part three, part one and part two were all Christmas Dollar Tree items. This is just gonna be a mixture for part three and I hope you all enjoy. So let's get into this video. All right, the first things that I want to share with you are these wooden signs on the dowel. It's called pine wood decor. How cute is that for, uh, you know, crafting or whatnot? I just thought that was awesome. You could always take this apart and use this dowel. Now this is a way thicker uh, or way more centimeters than the dowels that we're used to having at the Dollar Tree. So I just thought that was awesome. So I got two stars and then one of this shape here not great at ge geometry so i'm not even going to try <laughs> so i did get this one and they also had hearts i didn't pick up any hearts this time but i just thought these were just so adorable and uh yeah they're going to make great crafting uh items okay and then sticking with the crafter square i did pick up this scoring tool i don't have this in my stash i don't know why i haven't picked it up i don't know if it just came or i was just you know not looking because i had all the other tools so i did pick up one of these scoring tools if you have not seen those like me they have them now and then i picked up one of these wood plank boards i just used i picked up two i just used one in a diy that will be coming up at the end of the week so i did get that and let's see crafter square sticking with crafter square look at these little bird houses nothing new i just think they're so cute and i like these for my tear tray so i may be uh making a little christmas house bird house all right there we go for crafter square anymore over here the let's see vinyl paper i just thought that was a beautiful color come in handy for the fall and this is only a small uh roll but that's okay it's the permanent vinyl 4.5 inches by 48 inches long so yeah just picked it up i like the color all right and for the decor items that i found look is that not cute or what i will be using this real real soon in a craft i have an idea for it it just says decor on there and that's what it looks like with the um, gingham black and white material and then the little wood trim with the chalkboard sign there isn't that cute i love it i love it so adorable i mean it's almost all the way done for you you could even just leave it like this put whatever you want home welcome uh, you know, hello, whatever you want to put on there. I just think that's cute. It doesn't stand up very well. It keeps wanting to fall over. So maybe we can just uh, glue some blocks or something down to the back of that. And then this in the, they have at my store at an end cap, they have like a little baby or nursery section uh, for decor. And I found these, I thought they were a good size. It says reach for the stars. It's got gold stars on there dream big little one these will be great for a nursery i don't have any new babies coming so i just got three because i have a diy in mind for this as well so i can just paint these up and they're just a little particle board but they're i like the size on those so i did get three of those and then let's see any more crafter square I did pick up a couple more of the sunflowers. The small, you get nine pieces, and the big ones, you get six, and they're just wired. You can attach them to wreaths or crafts or whatever you want to attach them And then them I to. found these push pins. I finally got them. They are 15 pieces in there, and they're just little, short, little push pins, so I did pick some up. Don't know what for, just to keep in my stash. Not just necessarily for crafting, but, you know, for other things as well. So I did get that. And then I did find by Special Moments this 4x6 magnet for my refrigerator. I have pictures over there, and I thought it would be really nice to put these in a frame just to protect them. They are getting a little bent. My littlest grandson, he likes to 
grab the pictures off of the refrigerator. <laughs> so I thought this would protect it. So I did get a few of these frames and let's see. Okay, in the toy section, I did find these 3D dinosaur puzzles. I thought I would get these for my grandsons when they come over, give us something to do. So they had that there, land, air, sea. Okay, so there's that one. And then there's this one here, this style. And then they had this one here and this one here. So they had four at my store. I grabbed all four. These will come in handy when we get bored, you know, or just as a distraction. You know how kids are. Okay, so I did pick those up. All right, let's move in. Uh oh, I do have a little Christmas scrambler from part one and part two. I did get this Let It Snow sled sign with the adorable snowman there. I just think that is so cute. I love the colors. I love everything about it. So yeah, this will be uh, probably leaning on my fireplace this year. I just think it's really pretty. So there's that. And I did pick up this tray. I thought I can use this in an upcoming uh, challenge that I'll be in. Isn't that beautiful? It's like a hammered gold and rust color. I think it's absolutely beautiful. The back is black. Um, yeah, I just thought that was very, very nice for $1.25, so I did pick that up. And then, I don't really know what these are. If anyone knows what these are, let me know. I just thought they would be fun to mini pod bag assortment. Okay, so they're pods. Um, I don't know what tree, what weed, or anything that they come from. But anyway, I just thought that would be fun to add to my fall floral uh, decor you know just add them in there i just thought that would be really nice and different something different to put in there and then i also found this magnet they had different styles this is the one that i picked out just to show you guys that they have these succulent magnets and they're really heavy you guys so yeah i bet you they're heavy duty magnets i thought the, it has to be because the, the flower is so heavy it would have to have a really good size magnet on there so I'm not going to open it. I may give this in a gift. So I'm just going to leave that as is. All right. Getting, getting down to the nitty gritty here. <laughs> I did pick up another stencil. I thought I could use this little gift in my Christmas, to, you know, crafting. I don't know. It'd be good to keep on hand. And then I just wanted to show you these. I will be giving these away as well. Sticky notes, you get 11 pieces. Look at all the different sticky notes and designs in there for $1.25. That is awesome. These are by Jot. Look at those colors. I think that's absolutely beautiful. So I will be adding um, one of these to my giveaway that will be coming up real, real soon. I know I keep saying that, but real, real soon, you guys. <clears throat> okay, I picked up this sticker. What is coming is better than what is gone. That is absolutely, absolutely true. Um, not everything. I mean, I wish, you know, my mom is gone. I wish she was here, but you know what I mean. So I, I know I got off topic. What is coming is better than what is gone. So yeah, just a little sentiment there. And then they, they had these Echo Gang double threaded flossers they only get 40 pieces in there but i wanted to try them they also had the charcoal ones and this is by the echo gang it's not a green briar product it is by the humble company north america incorporated so <clears throat> yeah i just wanted to give those a try so i did pick that up and by ellie colors i've already tried this it's a makeup stick i like it it's a lipstick, blush, and eyeshadow all in one. I just used the lipstick, but you know, that would be great for your purse, a one stick to do it all, perfect. <laughs> so, and it says new and improved, and this one is in the pink satin color. So I did get that. <clears throat> and then I found this pen by Sarasa, purple ink. I thought it was a pretty, pretty, pretty color. It's a fine liner pen, and I did pick up up a couple of these i did send one to a friend so i'll put that in my stash 
I picked up some yo-yos for the boys. Uh, just It says BAM Ultimate. I thought I can stick these in some Christmas gifts this year. So I did pick up two of those while they had them. I finally found the Jim Beam coffee, you guys. And I've already tried the bourbon vanilla. It is delicious. I, In fact, I think it's a really chilly day today. I think I am going to make some more of this. Uh, I like it. And then I haven't tried the original. I did get one bag of the original and two of the bourbon and it's four ounces bourbon flavored ground coffee um original and then they both say okay they both say bourbon flavored ground coffee but one says original one says bourbon vanilla oh so this is has vanilla added to it i see okay all right so anyway this is by uh, whitecoffee.com manufactured by white coffee corporation jim beam and rosette are registered trademarks of jim beam brands Co company and are used under authorized license to white coffee corporation all rights reserved worldwide 100 percent hand-picked special coffee and expiration is eight two of 23 so wow a year uh shelf life almost so yep both the same oh this one is july 18th of 23 so july and august of 23 so yep finally found the jim beam this is good i would recommend it okay moving on moving on a couple more things here or a few i found a battery powered toothbrush at the dollar tree what it's by luminant not a grand uh green briar product so i thought i would give that a try I use electric toothbrushes that, uh, primarily. I picked up some AA batteries because, you know, all the stuff I got from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> and then look at this, a sink plunger, you guys, a sink and drain plunger. So I did pick up two of these, one to keep in the garage for that, you know, awful day when your sink plugs up. But I also got it because you can take this apart. Let me show you, you just unscrew this. You can paint this base here and you can use it for a sign or something in your crafting. So I thought that was an awesome, awesome buy for $1.25. And, you know, I just thought it was well made. And who's this by? This is by Trend Star Corporation, Fairfield, New Jersey. So yeah, not a green briar. Again, great buy for $1.25. All right, and then my last items today are these glasses or vases. I thought they were pretty. I thought they would come in handy for Christmas. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but they do have these smaller sized uh, vases at the Dollar Tree. And let's see, these are not Greenbrier either. These are, oh yes they are, Greenbrier International. So they do have these, you guys, at the Dollar Tree. and. A couple little, little scragglers here. I did get some sticky notes. I thought that was a great buy. You get 125 sheets and they're big, enough to write, you know, enough on. Sometimes those sticky notes, I don't have enough room to write stuff because I'm a rambler. <laughs> so anyway, you get 100 in these, this pack, 125 in that pack. So I did get two. And then I got a two pack of this little basket. I have something in mind for this for crafting. So I did get that. And then before I go, I just wanted to show you real, real quick what I got from uh, Walmart because I just can't even, look at this. Oh my gosh, this one's a little broken. I'm gonna have to fix it. But look at that. Is that not adorable? What with the skis? If I've already showed these, and I'm sorry, I can't remember, but <laughs> I had so much things going on. But And look at this little gnome. Is he skiing? How cute. The Dollar Tree had something like this last year. Um, so yeah, I just thought, I just liked it. I liked the colors. I thought it was really cute. So I did get him. And then they had the red truck here. It says Merry Christmas. This one's a little bit different than the one they had last year. I'll be using this in my tier tray. And this was $2.48. And then I got the gray skis as well. Or, I mean, snow boots. Skis? skis skates skates they're skates <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> i i'm telling you <laughs> so anyway i got those two i thought they were so so cute all right
that was it for my haul today. Thank you so much for being here. If you like my video today, can you give me a big thumbs up? And if you have not subscribed, I would invite you to do so. I share crafting, I share uh, hauls, mostly from the Dollar Tree and Walmart. I share some cooking, which I have not done in quite a while. I do have some baking ideas in mind real soon. So with all that said, uh, subscribe if you like what you see. I would love to have you join my channel, my YouTube family, and yeah. Okay, I think I'm done. I'm done. I'm done rambling. <laughs> I will talk to everyone, hopefully, in my next video. Bye for now. Bye.